I have always been a, a very great believer in what I identify as a Leonard Reed model of intellectual and social change, because he, on the libertarian scene, was sort of the first big popularizer of it, the founder of the Foundation for Economic Education, this notion that uh, it is a game of individual change mind to mind, and that the forces of politics are going to be lagging indicators of what most people believe, and uh, a political solution too soon uh, may well not work the way we want it to work. They're sort of trying to centrally plan or, or fool our way into getting a libertarian philosopher king is not going to have the results we want if the mass of people do not accept libertarian ideas. I mean, I think it's rooted in the whole classical liberal understanding of the state that the state you know, the state is rooted in violence, but the state does not ultimately actually rule by violence, that the state rules by ideas. You know, in, 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 in any given culture, the, you know, the public has more power than the state. That's a little complicated in the age of nuclear weapons, but I, I think it still largely holds true. So it, it is a matter of, of convincing mind to mind to mind. And I, I doubted that mainstream electoral politics was an efficient method of mind change until Ron Paul did what he did in the last two elections. He has surprised me uh, pleasantly. And um, I think the movement will lack a leader uh, in the sense that Ron Paul has stood as this almost unquestionable, you know, monument of integrity and, and sustained demonstration of his seriousness and, and his belief. Uh, no one is like that on the scene now, and uh, I'm enough of an individualist to, to hope that that doesn't matter. Um, and I actually think that what's happened in just the last day since Ron Paul has sort of ramped back his campaign and the reaction of most of his fans seems to be, we're doing what we're doing, we're going to keep doing what we're doing. And I think uh, that with or without the, the name of the banner, Ron Paul, uh, the, you know, the YouTube videos will keep being made, the rallies will keep being held, the books will keep being read, the candidates will keep running, and, uh, and by the very fact that there's now tens and probably hundreds of thousands of new people who passionately believe in these ideas, I, I have to be more hopeful for their future. A lot of people insult his runs as sort of ideological exercises. I think they sense a certain reluctance on his part to, to be president of the United States. Um, I believe that arose from a rational assessment of the situation on his part. I don't think it's not that he would have wanted to win. I think he understood more than many of his younger followers with his perspective that this is a long project. The classical liberal libertarian project is like a thousand year project in a way. It's not something that's going to turn around in a couple of elections. Um, and what pundits recognized about Ron Paul and I think made them suspicious of him as a candidate is that it wasn't just about winning for him and you know nor was it just about getting an ambassadorship or whatever he has a reason to run and he has victories to win whether or not he ends up the candidate of the Republican Party and I think he has clearly uh, won those victories because his project as a Republican presidential candidate was a distinctly libertarian project of changing people's minds and he chose the vehicle of running for president and it turned out to be a good one.